you have to follow. Never ask a caller for their last name. Never ask for home numbers, and never, never ask to meet them. And if any problem is too big to handle and you need an adult, I'm here. Well, I have a problem, Mr. Belding. Yes? I have this terrible rash. Oh. <laughs> I'll be in my office. Ah, watch a pro at work. <coughs> Hello, Teen Line, this is Zach. How can I help you? Uh, no, no, this isn't Ling Chow's Pizzeria. <laughs> okay, my turn. Hello, Teen Line, this is Lisa. Hi, Shelly, how may I help you? Oh, you're feeling overweight. It's probably just all in your mind. How much do you weigh? Oh. <laughs> well, maybe it's not in your mind. <laughs> well, have you ever thought about joining a school club? I mean, that's an easy way of making new friends. First of all, never wear white. You look like Shamu at a wedding. <laughs> you know, you might want to join Overeaters Anonymous. Here's the number. Oh. So what's your problem? Drugs, school, girls? Talk to me, laddie. Here, have a seat. My problem is, I hate my bratty little brother. Hate your brother? You should be lucky you have a brother. I'm an only child. I have to play hide and seek with my hamster. <laughs> Hello, Teen Line, this is Zach. Hi, I'm Melissa. Well, hi, Melissa. What can I do for you? I have a problem. Well, you called the right place. Well, my parents are totally too protective. They never let me stay out past 10, even on weekends. Mm, what a drag. And uh, judging by your voice, you probably get lots of dates. You see why your parents would worry. <laughs> Thanks, but they treat me like a baby. What do I do? Let me tell you, first of all, before you go out, set all the clocks back two hours. And when you come home at midnight, your parents will only think it's 10. <laughs> and then mom bought me this blow-up doll. <laughs> yeah, but my brother's a pain. Will you stop interrupting? <laughs> Sheesh. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. See, the blow-up doll wasn't like a real brother. I'll be right back. <laughs> Melissa Donahue? Oh, well, that's a nice name. So, Melissa, where do you live? Malibu, in the hills. You're kidding. I live in the Palisades. You're probably five minutes from here. Well, I can't move quite that fast. Do you know where the Max is? Melissa? Zach? Hi, Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're prettier than I imagined. Thanks. I owe it all to my parents. Wow. Well, speaking of parents, did you take my advice? Yeah, last night before I went out, I turned all the clocks back three hours. Works every time. Except when I got home, I forgot to fix them. Today, my dad was three hours late for work. Oops. Well, if he asks, just tell him the power went out. <laughs> Do you want to hear some music? Sure, what's on the jukebox? Well, they change it every week. Let's go see. Do you like Motown? I love it. Or... Whoa, you're in a wheelchair. You're staring. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't expect you to be, um, uh, sitting. Hey, it's OK. This wheelchair is no fun at parades, but I am a lot of fun in the supermarket. <laughs> uh, uh, so why didn't you tell me you were in a wheelchair? Would you believe I forgot? No. I didn't say anything because most people get so freaked out about it, they never stop thinking about the chair. I wanted you to meet me first. Look, um, I'm sorry I stared. It was, it was a surprise. If you want to leave, I'll understand. I'll wheel over your big toe when you go, but I'll understand. Oh, no, I'm not leaving. I said it was a surprise, and I like surprises. <laughs> <laughs> 